。好，跟住去到第五題啦，今次就去問翻咧一棵植物喺夏天嘅時候咧，佢嘅氧氣製成嘅速度同埋二氧化碳製造嘅速度嘅。咁啊 ，Part A 咧就問翻啦，喺邊一個時間底下咧，呢一棵植物係冇一個正向嘅氣體交換？即系话啦，冇空气系正向离开化叶同埋入去化叶嘅。咁成条题目第一个嘅概念咧，就考翻我哋啦。喺幅题目讲嘅氧气嘅制成同埋二氧化碳嘅制成，其实系代表咩意思咧？就就系想去代表翻咧一棵植物嘅光合作用同埋佢嘅呼吸作用。咁光合作用就系制造氧气，呼吸作用就系制造二氧化碳。而第二個概念啦，就係有關於乜嘢叫做冇正向嘅氣體交換，正正就係補償點嘅呢一個概念啦。補償點就係喺一個特定嘅光度底下，一棵植物咧，佢嘅光合作用同佢呼吸作用嘅速度咧係一模一樣嘅，亦即係話啦，棵植物咧唔會正向去吸收二氧化碳，亦都唔會正向去放出二氧化碳。同樣情況啦，亦都唔會正向吸收氧氣，亦都唔會正向放出氧氣啦。然後咧就去到一個分析嘅技巧啦。今次咧就係考翻我哋閲讀圖表嘅。喺呢兩個 area A 底下咧，會發現啦，實線係高於呢個虛線，亦即係話啦，生成二氧化碳嘅速度咧係快過生成氧氣嘅速度，亦即係代表住啦，呼吸作用係快過光合作用。而喺 area B 咧，你見到虛線咧係高於呢個實線，亦即係話製造氧氣嘅速度咧。係快過製造二氧化碳速度，亦即係代表住光合作用係快過呼吸作用。既然啦喺 area A 同埋 B 咧，我哋都會發現有一個 net gas exchange 正向氣體交換，亦即係我哋喺成幅圖想要揾嘅相交點咧，正正就係我哋嘅補償點啦。咁喺呢兩個相交點咧，就係、是、呼吸作用同光合作用嘅速度係一模一樣。亦即係棵植物係冇一個正向嘅氣體交換啦。咁我哋喺翻呢兩個交叉拉翻條線落去咧，咁我哋就會發現答案咧應該係就係上午嘅七點同埋下午嘅六點啦。跟住啦，去到 part B 咯，就喺翻呢幅圖嗰處咧，我哋就要去掃描翻一條線，就代表住啦氧氣嘅製造速度嚇喺幾時啊？喺個冬天嘅時間。咁既然講到明嘅氧氣嘅製造速度啦，就當然講緊係光合作用啦，係咪？咁所以啦，我哋第一個 concept 就係考下啦，究竟一棵植物佢要進行光合作用有啲咩最重要嘅因素喺入面呢？咁啊，光啦、葉綠素啦、二氧化碳啦同埋水啦。所以第二個 concept 呢，就係考我哋啦，呢四個 factor 呢，究竟邊一啲係同個冬天有關係啦？冬天有咩咁特別啦？短啲嘅日照時間，亦即係話做光合作用嘅時間短咗啦。同樣情況啦，温度亦都低咗，亦即係會令到一棵植物咧，佢嘅酶嘅反應亦都會慢咗，亦都令到整個光合作用咧，亦都會慢咗嘅。咁所以我哋嗰條線咧，比起原先嘅 curve 咧係矮一啲，亦都比原先嘅 curve 咧係窄一啲，因為啦，能夠做光合作用嘅時間咧就會短咗啲啦。例如啦，遲啲先日出啦，但係亦都早啲日落喎，呢條 curve 咧係會窄咗嘅。而矮咗呢，就係因為啦，嗰個 m s y m e t i c reaction 酶嘅反應呢，慢咗。咁你話條 curve 呢，我唔擺咁高，我再擺矮多少少得唔得？都可以嘅。總之，成條 curve 呢，就係兩邊收窄咗，同埋向下撳扁咗。Part B 呢，兩常想講多一樣嘢，就係、是、個題目變奏啊。今次啦，我將個題目反轉嚟問，就係、是、直接去問你啦，同我解釋一下。究竟喺冬天嘅時候，點解棵植物嘅光合作用嘅速度會慢咗？嗱，今次我講到明俾你聽係慢咗，但係題目係可以叫你 explain the change of photosynthesis rate 噶嘛？啊，講下咧喺冬天嘅時候咧個光合作用嘅改變，咁你咪俾多一分我講個改變咯。但係點樣都好啦，總之而家我就問你啦，冬天光合作用慢咗，點解？咁你可以講下啦，日照時間短咗啦。温度低咗啦，甚至乎啦，有啲植物冬天係會落葉噶嘛，落葉嘅時候啦，少咗啲葉，咁亦即係話啦 ，chlorophyll 係咪會少咗？葉綠素少咗，佢哋所能夠吸嘅光又會少咗，咁光合作用嘅速度亦都會慢咗啦，係咪？好，去到 Pass， 去到呢幅圖，仲有乜嘢可以觀察得到？喺呢個虛線製造氧氣速度嘅呢條 curve 底下嘅呢個面積咧，佢就話啦，通常都係大過喺呢條實線二氧化碳製造嘅呢條線底下嘅面積嘅。就要我哋解釋下啦，呢、这個觀察有咩嘅重要性？呢、这個題目考我哋嘅第一個 critical 嘅 concept 就係喺呢個所謂面積底下有冇啲咩嘅隱藏信息？其實我哋比較緊氧氣嘅製造嘅速度同埋二氧化碳製造嘅速度係代表住乜嘢呢？
。喺呢度啦，我哋會發現啦，哦，氧氣嘅製造呢，佢嗰個速度係快過二氧化碳嘅製造，亦即係代表住有一個正向嘅氧氣製造。咁啊，代表咩意思呢？原來就係代表住。光合作用嘅速度系快过呼吸作用嘅速度啦。讲呢两款气体为乜啫？就系讲紧氧气嘅制成就系光合作用，二氧化碳嘅制成就系呼吸作用啫嘛，系咪？当我哋知道呢个面积背后嘅隐藏信息之后咧，原来我哋要比较嘅就系光合作用同埋呼吸作用佢哋各自嘅重要性。光合作用就系整嘢食，呼吸作用咧就系用咗啲嘢食去。所以当我哋知道呢条题目系问紧我哋 concept one 同埋 concept two 之后咧，我哋就可以重新写条题目啦。其实佢就系问紧光合作用嘅速度，通常都系快过呼吸作用嘅速度嘅，就要我哋解释下呢个现象嘅重要性。其实正正就系幅图嗰处话俾我哋听，氧气嘅生成就系代表住制造嘢食，即系光合作用。佢通常呢个面积咧都系大过我哋二氧化碳嘅。製造嘅速度，亦即係呼吸作用嘅速度，就係、是、food consumption， 亦即係代表住原來啦，嗰、那個製造嘢食嘅速度，通常都係大過用嘢食嘅速度，亦即係有一個正向嘅嘢食嘅製造同埋儲存。咁製造多咗嘅嘢食啦，自不然就可以被迫植物去生存啦、成長啦，甚至乎製造個果實啦。咁呢個咧就係 C part 嘅概念啦。而去到一點出發咯。成條題目先去問嘅就係 compensation point 補償點，當中補償點我哋牽涉嘅就係光合作用同埋呼吸作用，一個就整嘢食，一個就用嘢食。而透過光合作用同呼吸作用，我哋除咗知道整嘢食同埋用嘢食之外呢條題目其實都問緊我哋氣體交換㗎嘛，咁所以啦，我哋就要將氣體交換啦、整嘢食啦、用嘢食啦，同一棵植物嘅生存、成長同埋繁殖呢拉上關係啦。Question five: The graph shows the oxygen production rate, the dotted line, and the carbon dioxide production rate. So, of a local plant on a summer day. So, for part A, we need to state the times that at which there is no net exchange of gases into or out of the leaf. So, for this question, the first concept is asking the gas production in the photosynthesis and respiration. So, for the question, although it's talking about oxygen and carbon dioxide, it presents these two reactions as well. So, for the oxygen production, is related to the photosynthesis. And for the carbon dioxide production, is related to the respiration. And after that, we need to recall the meaning of no net exchange of gas. So that's the concept of compensation point at a certain light intensity. So we can find that the rate of photosynthesis and the rate of respiration they are in the same rate. So that's why there is no net exchange of gas. For example, no net uptake of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, and no net release of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. And the same idea for the oxygen. That's why this question also check your analyze skills, graph reading skills. First of all, we need to take a look at the position of the curve. So in area A, the curve of carbon dioxide production is higher than the oxygen production curve. So we can know that the rate of respiration is higher than that of photosynthesis, and in the area B, we can see that the curve of oxygen production is higher than the curve of carbon dioxide production. So we can know that the rate of photosynthesis is higher than the rate of respiration. So after we compare the position of the curve, so we need to identify the compensation points. So for these two intercept points, so the rate of photosynthesis is equal to the rate of respiration, and there is no net gas exchange of the leaf. So and then we draw a line down to the time, so we can see that the time it should be seven a.m. and six p.m. And for the part B, we need to sketch a line on the above graph to show the oxygen production rate of a plant on a winter day. So for this concept, what does it mean? The oxygen production, of course, it means the photosynthesis. So for the critical concept number one, we need to recall the necessary factors for photosynthesis: light, cold, fuel, carbon dioxide, and water. We need to know that any change of those factors in winter and any relationship between those factors and winter. So in winter, we need to know that there is a shorter daytime, shorter time for photosynthesis, and also the temperature is also lower. 
so the rate of enzymatic reaction is also lower the rate of photosynthesis will be also lower therefore the curve will be like this so we have the shorter light period shorter daytime so that's why the photosynthesis will start at a later time and ends at a earlier time so that's why the curve will be narrower and at the same time the peak will be also lower because the rate of photosynthesis may not be that high as usual due to the low temperature and in this question i would like to talk about the possible question variations i can ask you to explain the lower rate of photosynthesis of a plant on a winter day i can also ask you explain the change of the photosynthesis rate of a plant on a winter day so there will be one more mark to talk about the change or first of all the rate of photosynthesis will be lower and, and then you talk about the reason so you have to recall the daytime shorter day length lower temperature and maybe there is shading of the leaves so that's why there will be fewer leaves for photosynthesis and for the past c the area below the line showing the oxygen production rate is usually greater than the area below the line showing the carbon dioxide production rate so explain the importance of this observation so in this question we need to recall that what is the hidden message of different area so we are comparing the oxygen production and the carbon dioxide production we know that there is a net oxygen production it means that the rate of photosynthesis is higher than the rate of respiration and apart from the gas we also need to recall the importance of photosynthesis and respiration so for the photosynthesis the main purpose is to produce food and for the respiration the main purpose is to break down the food to release energy for photosynthesis is for food production and for respiration is for food consumption and if we follow this concept and rewrite the question we shall know that the rate of photosynthesis is usually higher than the rate of respiration and you need to explain the importance of this phenomenon so we can see that from the graph the area below the line showing oxygen production rate represents the food production and the carbon dioxide production it represents the food consumption according to the question it's mentioned that food production is greater than the food consumption therefore there will be a net amount of food produce so for this food produce it can provide the energy for the plant to survive to grow and produce fruit so about the curriculum mapping the whole question is about the compensation point and it involves the photosynthesis and respiration and apart from the gas exchange we also talk about the food production and food consumption so for the food for the gas so we can extend the idea to talk about the survival of the plant growth and also the reproduction of the plant so i hope that this curricular mapping can help you to do the revision